Hello folks, welcome to the 19th annual Jacksonville Offshore Sport Fishing Club El Cheapo Sheepshead Tournament, Jacksonville, Florida at the Mayport Public Boat Ramp. I'm a volunteer fish cleaner and I'm using my Flazol blades and Makita one-handed reciprocating saw to rip through these sheep's head. This is just the beginning of the tournament. All the fish get cleaned and all the fish get fried up for all the masses that show up during the tournament and all the masses that fish the tournament. Hundreds and hundreds of sheep's head were caught this is just one of the first ones that came to the table. And this is brought to you by Filazol, which is 100% bad to the bone. U.S. made. You match your Filazol blade to a Makita one-handed reciprocating saw. And this is what you can do. We're talking down to parade rest, folks. Right through the bones, get rid of them bones. Get rid of those things. No need for a fillet blade, a fillet knife. Your fillet knife is now a scalloped serrated blade on a 3000 RPM lithium ion Makita saw. These are just a few of the first fish that came in. This turned out to be unbelievable because so many offshore big, big sheep's head were caught and brought to the weigh-in. It got to where there was four or five of us cleaning fish for three hours straight. And you can see here, what I like to do is make a cut. And I'm explaining here how it all works to a fellow volunteer at the tournament. I like to start at the tail of the fish and literally lay the blade right up there on the edge and just go straight towards the head. Bigger fish, even on this, take a few swipes, especially sheep's head, since they're really a nasty fish. Good eating, nasty fish though. Armor plated, big bones, prickly fins, they've got it all. But they eat real good, and that's what makes them popular in Northeast Florida. Around here, sheep's head is king. Don't ask me why, I'm more of a trout fisherman. So here I am, I'm just cutting the bones out. Here's a fellow volunteer, 16 year old boy. He's got his bubba blades. And they're not really working out that great, let me tell you. A lot of hacking away, hacking, hacking. So there's an easier way of doing it. Here's some of the uh, prize structure for the tournament. First place, Carolina Skiff. Matched up with a Suzuki outboard, all rigged and ready to go. And then second place, looks like it's a smaller 16, 17 foot Carolina Skiff with a tiller Suzuki on the back and this little boy here using it as a jungle gym. And then I was talking to his dad, I believe here. And they were looking at small boats because they fished the tournament in the small boat and had some engine trouble and they were in very early. This entire area here was hundreds and hundreds of people later on during the day. And every single one of those seats was filled. Here you go, there's a big one. 
lots and lots of eight pound fish. Most of the really big fish were all coming from offshore. We're not having great success in St. John's River here in Jacksonville, Florida. Everywhere you turn, they're doing some dredging. It's really kind of messed it up. Here's some guys, boy, they had some um, all big ones and they had to choose what they were going to weigh. You can only put on the scale the one that you are going to enter in the tournament. You can't lay them all on the scale. So here's the Waymaster John. He's helping them pick what he thinks might be the biggest to go up on the scale. There it is. Just got weighed. And it's going into the fish cleaner bucket. And guess where it's coming? It's coming over to Captain Dave. I'm going to put a whooping on him. Here I am. I'm going to decide to go with the 12 inch fillets all blade in my Makita just for the fun of it. And what I ended up doing is I wore out both my lithium ion batteries by doing about I'd say 20 fish. And at the very end, just like last year, I ended up having to go with a fillet knife at the end because I burned my batteries up. But normally, I would never, ever sit and just clean, you know, uh, 35 sheep's head by myself. So on my boat, the, the battery lasts just fine. But this is industrial sheep's head fishing and industrial sheep's head cleaning. I mean, when you had up to four or five guys sitting here taking the sides off these fish, and you can see I'm using the, the, the big blade, just giving it a try. It's for really monster fish. If you had, you know, 75 pound wahoo you can just stick that in them and just peel it right on down and you'll see here we are just filling cart after cart and then we're chilling the fish out in the coolers here and they just kept coming and coming and coming for hours and hours we stood there cleaning fish I was covered in fish slime, dull knives. Here I am having to use a regular fillet blade because I done burned up my lithium ion batteries. Burned them up. And it was a good day, lots of work, carpal tunnel syndrome, big time. And the tournament was a success and easy for me. Care of Filazol. Everybody loves seeing the fillets all system, which are serrated blades going in a one-handed reciprocating saw. And unfortunately, here I am getting really tired, hacking away at a big old eight pounder probably. And all these fish get cleaned and fried right on the tournament grounds. This was March 9th. 2019, Jacksonville, Florida. Dawn. I got my GPS and my frog togs on I got every kind of bait a man might need Well, there's a little rain, but I don't care I'm like a boy scout, always prepared To handle just about anything Some folks call me crazy Some tell me get a life To me, there's nothing better Than to spend all of my That's where I get my kicks out on the water Hey, it's my residence Don't want to waste my time or a single dime On something high and dry I love stalking fish and ripping lips Yeah, I love to spend my life out on the water I'm feeling 
down I get up Attached the boat to my own truck Then I tow it down to my favorite lake A big rooster tail Then I'm there, my medicine's the Kool-Aid air And it's guaranteed to cure most anything Some folks never get it The ones that do get hooked If I could, I'd show them all how life can be so good out on that's where I get my kids out on the water Hey, it's my residence Don't want to waste my time or a single dime On something high and dry I love stalking fish and ripping lips I love to spend my life out on the water Stalking fish and ripping lips, yeah, I love to spend my life out on the water. <laughs> 